Adding a custom engraving to a guitar is probably one of the easiest ways to give your guitar a really unique, personalized, and customized look. Now I've done this to more than a few custom guitars that I've built, and I really feel like this really makes my build stand out against the rest of them. Now I typically touch on how I do this in every one of my build tutorials, but you guys have been requesting for a long time that I do a specific video dedicated to my entire process for these custom engravings. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna show you the specific tools that I use and my entire process going from an idea to a well-executed plan. I'm Dan, this is Guns and Guitars, let's get started. Now there are a few different ways that you can do this depending on your desired results, but typically this step is best done after you've applied your color and one or two layers of your clear coat. Now there are exceptions to this rule, like if you wanna have a different color sitting down inside of your engraving, and I'll talk to you more about that later. But let's go ahead and get started on the process. Now typically when I set out to do an engraving, I already have a pretty specific idea in mind that I wanna do, but if not, I oftentimes turn to Pinterest or even just a Google image search for inspiration on a design idea that would match the vibe of the guitar that I'm building. In any case, whether you're an artist and you can draw something up yourself, like I do often, or if you're grabbing inspiration from elsewhere, if you really want to have a truly unique instrument, you might want to make some changes to the design to make it your own before you engrave it onto your guitar. Oftentimes, just the simple act of tracing it and then retracing it will be just enough to add your personal touch to it. Now, sometimes to apply the image onto the guitar before engraving, I will just freehand draw it on, as is the case with my signature, or sometimes I will just freehand doodle onto the guitar itself. This is why it's important that you have one or two coats of clear on top of your guitar before you start this process, so that you can erase and make changes to your pencil lines without ruining the finish on your guitar. Now, if you already have your design laid out on a piece of paper, you might not want to have to redraw the whole thing freehand on your guitar. I found the best way to transfer images is to use graphite tracing paper. Basically, you just cut out a piece of this stuff, tape it on behind your image, and then you can trace your image onto your guitar. This is probably the option that I use the most frequently. That way I can change up the images on a computer or a tablet and adjust them to be the appropriate size and proportion for the piece of guitar that I'm gonna be engraving. That way I can experiment with different sizes and see how it looks in real life without having to actually draw up the design every single time. Then once I have my final size and proportions laid out, I simply just trace it on. Now to do the actual engraving, I use a rotary tool similar to a Dremel. The specific one that I use is this Black & Decker three-speed rotary tool. And I use this one because it's actually cheaper and I feel like it's better made than the lower end Dremel models. And it comes with a lot of extra features, for example, that it's variable speed, which is very handy for engraving. Now the one accessory that I recommend to all rotary tool users is definitely the flex shaft kit. Now I use the Dremel brand specific one, but it's not specific just to the Dremel brand. As you can see, I have it hooked up to my Black & Decker just fine, and it'll work with just about every off-brand rotary tool, including those from Harbor Freight and Amazon. This thing is worth its weight in gold. It allows you to hold your engraving bit, or any Dremel bit for that matter, more like a pencil as opposed to having to hold the entire motor housing, which is much more clumsy. This way you can get a lot finer detail in your engraving. And lastly, the actual engraving bits that I use are really nothing special. You can get this set for, I think, $8 on Amazon and a similar price, I think, at Harbor Freight. Now, they do wear out over time pretty easily. I just consider them disposables, okay? They work really well until they wear out, and then I just throw them away and buy new ones. But I've used higher-end, more expensive engraving bits, and I feel like they don't really work that much better, and they're really not worth the money. So like I said, I buy the cheap ones, and I just consider them disposable. And once you have your flex shaft and your engraving bit chucked into your rotary tool, it's really just a matter of tracing what you've already drawn onto your guitar. Now, if this is your first time doing an engraving, definitely practice on some scrap wood first and not just a random two x four that you have laying around. Try to practice on as many different surfaces and materials as possible so you can really get a feel for how your engraving bit is gonna handle in different scenarios. Now lastly, once the engraving is finished, I go ahead and put on one or two more clear coats on top of that just to protect the wood grain underneath the engraving. Now going back to what I said at the beginning of this video, if you want to have a contrasting color inside your engraving like I did for this Super Strat or this custom guitar cab that I built, then it's actually a little bit different technique. You see, to do this, you actually need to engrave before you do any finishing work, staining or top coat. Just do your engraving right onto the raw wood, then stain over the entire piece of wood, making sure lots of stain gets down inside that engraving. 
Then you can go back and sand away all the stain from the top layer of wood, leaving the stain inside the engraving, and then go over the top with whatever contrasting color you want. Now, if any of my engravings have inspired you to try graving your guitars, please, please tag me on Instagram at Guns of Guitars Official. I love seeing your guys' work, and as often as possible, I will repost it and share it in my feed or in my stories or something. I love seeing the designs that you guys come up with. It's really inspiring and encouraging to me as well. I'm Dan, this is Guns of Guitars, and I'll see you in that next video.